My name is Sankrit Anandrai. I'm a first year international student and I have no idea where I'll be living next year. When I was a child, my family emigrated from Bangalore, India to New Jersey, but then came the financial crisis of 2008 and my dad couldn't renew his work visa, so we had to move back because we were forced to leave. Um, this led to my family calling it quits on their American dream and they decided to raise me and my brother in Bangalore. I left home when I was 17. I was accepted to universities all around the world, but I chose UC Santa Cruz. I wanted to prove myself in the United States. I wanted to prove to my parents and myself that the same country that extinguished our flame of the American dream was the same one whose system I would finally triumph through. I thought UCSC with its long years of activism and promised three years of priority housing would be the best place for me to begin my new life. At first it was. I was doing well in all of my classes. I made some great friends and I joined City on a Hill Prize. I finally felt like home until my roommate told me about the housing lottery. I remember being in shock searching for the university webpage that promised three years of international priority housing, but it was just gone. The information provided by the housing office suggested that the lottery was far more equitable and that housing was far more available than it actually was. I was hopeful that I'd managed to find on-campus housing. Despite selecting my affiliated college and all possible options and receiving a lottery time on the first day of first pass, all the options were already taken when I opened the housing portal. Finding off-campus housing is currently impossible for me. My student visa doesn't currently grant me the ability to work off campus or have a social security number. Most rental screening services require one for tenant applications. If I'm unable to show an immigration officer my place of residence, I will have to move back to India. None of my credits would transfer over and I'd have to restart as though I just graduated high school. Such a setback could mean the end of my academic career. I've had to rely on some of my family members here in the United States. They helped me get bank statements and internet bills for my documentation. My uncle is helping me start the process of getting my California's driver's license. I haven't told my parents yet, and it's led me to live two lives. They're still under the impression that I have three years of priority housing and I'm going to be living on campus next year. I haven't told them about the lottery and my current uncertainty. There's almost nothing they can do but worry. My initial application to the DMV was rejected because two of the addresses on my documents didn't match. So I was really skeptical going into it a second time, but I managed to get all of the right documentation. Even though my future is a bit uncertain, I'm still really happy to be where I am. I love all the friends I've made, I've kept up all A's, and I'm a proud banana slug. I'm still determined to get housing, I just wish the administration would share in that same boat.